in my view, um, that cognitive dissonance, uh, that the complementary, complementary with a, an E, um, the complementarity is, is actually what gives us more accurate um, um, perspectives, more accurate truth. You know, it's like our eyes. You know, if you, if you go like this, you know, you see two different pictures. And the reasons that we can see, we can see more accurately is because it takes two perspectives really to converge for any kind of depth perception. Um, and God does that over and over in creation, by the way. I, I believe that, that as we listen to other perspectives, that we will become uh, not just more complex, we'll become stronger and more accurate. Uh, we will become uh, sturdier in times of change. Uh, we will be able to understand much more of God. Um, and, and the kingdom will be much expanded and God will be much glorified and Jesus will be much lifted up because we listen to more than one perspective. And, and part of the, what I love about the Reformed theology um, is that intellectual rigor. It's, 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 the, it's, the, it's kind of the categorical, you know, um, uh, analytical um, um, structures that that really build on each other, but frankly, um, just the spirit, um, the devotional, um, the emotional passion of the Wesleyan tradition, um, unless you have, and, and, and again, this is not to say the Wesleyan tradition isn't full of intellectual achievement, it is, but unless you combine that passion with that um, kind of um, intellectual structuralism, you're not going to have the fullness and the sophistication and the and the greatness um, and really the majesty of an intellectual um, and 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 heart encounter with God. So so it really does take both of them. Music